As Catherine shared with the children, today is a day that we will be relating the story of Jesus' transfiguration. Uh, It is found in the Gospels of Matthew and Mark and Luke. This morning we will be reading it from Mark's Gospel, from the ninth chapter, verses 2 through 13. Let us listen for God's Word. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James, and John, and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And Jesus was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice, This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they were looking around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. Then they asked him, why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? Jesus said to them, Elijah is indeed coming first to restore all things. How then is it written about the Son of Man that he is to go through many sufferings and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written about him. Friends, here ends our reading from Holy Scripture for this morning. May God add a blessing to our hearing and understanding of God's Word.